are a little more than three weeks away from the one year anniversary of the July 16th attacks. Tonight in the Price of Freedom, one group is honoring the fallen five and their families one year later. Josh Rowe joins us now with that story. Josh. Kelsey Latricia, the Patriot Guard writers came out by the thousands for the funeral services for the fallen five. The services that happened here and the ones that took place in other parts of the country. The Patriot Guard's a group of veterans who honor fallen veterans at funerals. They're also involved in other events to honor veterans and service members police and firefighters on Saturday, July 16th. They will have the Nuga Strong Memorial Ride. All of the money raised from the ride will go to the charity Wreaths Across America. Wreaths Across America is a program that places uh, wreaths on veterans graves at national cemeteries on December 17th. Uh, wreaths cross, uh, they cost $15 a piece, which is uh, what we're charging for the ride. George Bergen says that every penny they bring in will go towards those wreaths. Chattanooga National Cemetery has almost 50,000 grave sites. You can find all the information at NugaStrongRide.com. We have a link to that website on our website, NewsChannel9.com. We want to also tell you about the price of freedom tomorrow night at 6. Jeff McDonald served in the Marine Corps for 12 years, went to Desert Storm with Mike Battery here in Chattanooga. It's a war we don't talk about enough. I had a lot of health issues, a lot. I've, I feel like a $6 million man. I've had so much stuff done to me. But, you know, as far as tying it back to that, I just don't see, you know, there was supposedly a Gulf War syndrome, and I never had any of that stuff, you know, I, I, then. But as I've gotten older, I've got a lot of internal things wrong with me. So, I don't know, you know, how could you, how could you find out or tell? Many of these veterans seeing health issues and really not sure how much is combat related. We're going to dig into that. We'll also tell Jeff McDonald's story here over the next two weeks. It all starts tomorrow, 6 o'clock on the Price of Freedom.